we have a beautiful diagram given to us and I see lots of points of tangency. Let's see what we have to do. Four externally tangent circles with radius 2. So they are talking about these four with radius of 2. So let me put 2 right there. Or internally tangent to a larger circle. And of course larger circle is this huge one. And externally tangent to a smaller circle. And that's the circle inside. A square is drawn by connecting the points of tangency. So this point, this point, this point, and this point of the four medium-sized circles to the larger circle. The area of the shaded region in the diagram can be written as this expression, and we have to find A plus B plus C plus D. And the very first person to correctly answer this weekly math challenge was F Mako F Mako. A huge, huge congratulations. And we will strive to obtain the same answer of 12. So let's see if we can get 12 at the end of this video. To begin with, let's start by finding the radius of the small circle. So let me label that R. So we will start by finding the radius of this small circle, lowercase r, and the radius of this larger circle. So this large circle, which I will label capital R. So let's start by finding these two. Actually, before we get to R and R, how are we going to find this shaded area? I mean, there are many ways of attacking it, and one possible way of attacking it is by dividing this diagram into four pieces. This piece right here, and there's another piece, here's another piece, and here is another piece. And we can just focus on one of them, and if we can find the area, shaded area inside this inside this pink square so if we can find this yellow area we can simply multiply this area by 4 to get our final answer so we simply have to find this yellow area and multiply by 4 so let's try to do so and finding capital R and lowercase r is going to help us out so let's try to do so so we have this radius of 2 so that's telling us that we have this 45 45 90 triangle right here so we know this length is square root of 2 and we know this length that's radius of the medium sized circle is 2 so that's telling us that this length this length if i can highlight it so let's highlight it we know this yellow length is 2 plus square root of 2 we know this length is 2 plus square root of 2 because it's square root of 2 and 2 so we have 2 plus square root of 2 for this length and we see that the capital R is simply an extension of this red line. So the capital R is going to, we can find it by using this 45, 45, 90 triangle. We know the base is 2 plus square root of 2. So the capital R is going to be simply square root of 2 times that. Square root of 2 times 2 plus square root of 2. Or 2 times square root of 2 plus 2. So we know capital R. How about lowercase r? Well, lowercase r is simply this length right here, and lowercase r can be found by taking the capital R, so this entire length, and taking away 4, the diameter of this medium-sized circle. So we know lowercase r is capital R, so 2 times square root of 2 plus 2, and we can simply take away 4, take away 4, and we get 2 times square root of 2, minus 2 as the radius of the small circle. Now, how can we find the area that we're trying to find? Remember, we're trying to find this area, this area, this area, and this area. One way of doing it is by finding the area of this entire, entire tiny square, so the quarter of a square. So if we can find this blue area, the area, so the this blue area, and we can take away we can take away some of the areas that we can find easily. So let's start by finding the area of this entire square. What's the area of this blue square? Well, that area is simply going to be 2 plus square root of 2. That's the side length because that, that length is the same as the side length. So we know the, the area of this square is 2 plus square root of 2 squared or 4 plus 4 times square root of 2 plus 2. Just expanding it or 6 plus 4 times the square root of 2. So that's this area right here. And what do we have to take away? Well, we have to take away the area of this triangle. We have to take away the area of this triangle. We have to take away the area of the semicircle. 
so area of the semicircle right here and we have to take the area take away the area of this quarter circle lying inside right here so that semicircle and that's quarter circle let's make sure we keep our eyes on that so let's start with finding this finding this red area we know this length is 2 we know this length is 2 it's kind of hard to see let me make sure we see that we know this length is 2 and we know this entire length is diameter or 4 and we have 90 degree angle right here so the area of this triangle area of this triangle is simply going to be base times height over 2 or 4 so we have to take away 4 from this from this area of the square and what else do we have to take away we have to take away the area of the semicircle so we have to take away the area of the semicircle and of course the radius of the circle is 2 so we're looking at pi r squared over 2 or pi times 2 squared over 2 the radius of the circle is 2 that that was given to us and which is 4 pi over 2 or 2 pi and we also have to take away this blue area the quarter circle so let's go to the right just a bit and what is the radius of this small circle well that's lowercase r and lowercase r is 2 times square root of 2 minus 2 so for this one we're looking at pi r squared over 4 and our r is 2 times square root of 2 minus 2 square root of 2 minus 2 square root over 4 we can factor 2 out of this thing so we can get pi times when we factor 2 out we have to square that so we get 4 times we have square root of 2 minus 1 squared left inside I'm just taking out 2 so I'm taking out 2 here taking out 2 here and I have to square it when I take it out so we have 4 times square root of 2 minus 1 squared over 4 4 is nicely cancelled out so we have pi times square root of 2 minus 1 squared which is 2 minus square root of 2 plus 1 or 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 so what's the area we're looking for well we start with this blue area we're starting with this blue area so this blue area or 6 plus 4 times square root of 2 and we have to take away 4 2 pi and pi times 3 minus 2 times square root of 2 let's see what we get so we want to start with 6 if I can actually use the pen 6 plus 4 times square root of 2 take away 4 take away 2 pi and we have to take away what is this this 3 pi minus 2 pi square root of 2 so we're subtracting this so we gotta take away 3 pi and add we gotta switch the sign add 2 pi times square root of 2 and what is this we have let's make sure it's in the form that we want we want it to be in the form a plus b plus so a plus b plus c pi times square root of 2 plus d pi keeping that in mind we get 6 minus 4 is 2 and we let's look at the terms with square root of 2 we have 4 times square root of 2 and we have 2 pi times square root of 2 so we can simply put plus 2 pi square root of 2 and we have minus 5 pi and what is that area of that's the area of the, of let me just shade it of this pink area so this area this area this area and this area and of course we have to multiply that by 4 to get the area of the entire thing we're looking for so our final answer is this thing times 4 so we have to multiply the entire expression by 4 getting us 8 2 times 4 is 8 plus 16 plus 8 pi multiplying by 4 to each of them square root of 2 minus 20 pi and what do we do what do we do with this information we want to do a plus b plus c plus d a plus b plus c plus d that's our a b c and d so we have 8 plus 16 plus 8 minus 20 or simply 12 and we are done and thankfully we got the same answer that f marco or f marco got and our final answer is 12.